Can a rebound relationship bring you back together with your ex if your ex has an avoidant attachment style? This is a very long title for this video. In this video, we're going to discuss about how the psychology of an avoidant when they rebound, the idea of phantom ex, uh, which will also create sort of strong drivers for them to reconsider the relationship. Um, and basically answer this question whether it's better or worse that your partner is dating someone right now. Jingle. I get my ex back.com. Everyone deserves a second chance. So let's start with the avoidant mindset post breakup. Avoidant people, they have a tendency to prefer independence, to seek their autonomy, and therefore a breakup offers them this space, this autonomy. They finally have this freedom to do whatever they want to wake up whenever they want, to see whoever they want, not to have to text anyone, etc, etc. So in a way, they love it. They love it. It's finally, in a way, that's how they finally establish their safe space. And so the thing is, when they start a relationship very quickly after, it's in a way going against <laughs> their deep uh, need for space, uh, for autonomy. And so what it means, and this is mostly applicable for avoidant people, because anxious people who cling to other relationships, that's different. They really use that as a coping mechanism, but it's different than anxious people. Anxious people, they will rebound to relationship because they feel the need to uh, get a sense of self-worth. And the relationship provides this self-worth, provides someone like, I can... I'm good enough because someone validates me, someone is uh, intimate with me, I have a relationship with someone which means that I'm valuable. For an avoidant it's more about like there's too much emotion, <laughs> I don't want to deal with the breakup, I don't want to deal with that, I need to distract myself. So anxious people, the dynamic of anxious people entering your relationship very quickly is more about I need reassurance that I could date someone that I could be with someone because it's also this first one and the second one that I'm thinking of now is I can't be on my own, I can't be alone. It's too hard for me to be alone. For avoidance, it's more like ah, there's too much drama, I need to level <laughs> blah, 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 and then move on to a new relationship. So it's slightly different. One is more about like uh, being attached to someone and the other one is blah, blah, blah. I don't want to deal with that. Um, so it's a distraction. <laughs> Um, so the nature of relationship, of rebound relationship, is obviously always superficial, non-committal, and that avoidant, that's what avoidant likes in a way, like in a way. So they use it as a distraction from those feelings because they don't want to deal with feelings, they dismiss those feelings, and so they enter this easygoing relationship, right? There's no commitment go with the flow, we don't know what it's going to do, we're going to do next month, I don't need to see your parents, I don't need to text you when you go out, we don't need to plan things together, etc. And so, you might be thinking, hold on, <laughs> I'm screwed, because they're actually finally entering a relationship that works for them, because there's no depth, there's no connection in the relationship. Right? So, they left deep strong relationship with a lot of intimacy, potentially a lot of uh, chemistry together, to start something that was superficial, non-committal, which in a way thinks like, okay, hold on, that's definitely what they want, definitely what they're after. Now, the problem is, or the problem, there's an element, um, a phenomenon that's called the, the phantom X, where avoidance, which is very common, have feelings for their ex lingering. Because what you have to understand, bear with me, <laughs> the new relationship, yes, this, it offers this superficial element that makes them feel safer. However, still, for an avoidant person, regardless of their, avoidant, uh, of their attachment style, this relationship, if you compare with your relationship, if we compare with all the quality times, all the things that you've had together, this new relationship can't really compare, can't really, you can't really sort of, uh, they, they can't compete. 
And so what it means for your partner, for your ex-partner, is that the tension from the intimacy, from the commitment element, is gone. When they reflect about the relationship you had together, because they are still thinking about you, even though they are dating someone, the perception, the, the connotation of this relationship would be different. Because now they only keep those good memories away from the tension. Right? And so what would happen is that those unresolved emotions will resurface. Always. They will always, that's like 100%, always ask themselves, what did I do? Now, of course, this is the case if the relationship you had with them was special, was what I call like life-defining, you know, and obviously people watching my videos are, they, they know what, you know what you had was special and you know that was the same for your partner. And so there's always an element for an avoidant partner after a breakup thinking, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? Okay, so the destruction of the relationship won't erase this. It, I don't know whether it will magnify it or not, but there's always an element of comparison. So they will compare. And so in a way, then we're going to talk about that. At the beginning, it's very easy. It's very simple. Honeymoon phase, they love it because there's no commitment. But of course, the relationship, this rebound relationship will evolve. It's going to get serious. <laughs> and when gonna, they're going to compare this new serious relationship with that previous one, which the one that actually was different to them, because potentially in their life, they've always had like short-term relationship, or it was very hard for them to be in a relationship long enough, but with you, that was different. And so the, the rebound will highlight what was, what was special in your relationship. They will, again, realize about those unresolved uh, feelings and thinking like, oh yeah, I miss her, or I miss him. And what will create is this increased appreciation and longing uh, for your connection. As I said, they will compare you versus this new shiny object. And of course, at the beginning, this new shiny object will feel that's what they want. That's what they need. Very quickly, you get bored of this new shiny object. And what's left of the previous relationship is only the positive side, because you are away from the tension. Right? They loved you. I'm not, you know, if you're not sure whether they loved you, don't watch this video, don't listen to anything that I said, you're probably never going to get back together. But if they loved you, and they're dating someone new, quickly after you guys broke up, they will have those lingering feelings. Now, the only thing that you could do at this stage is looking after your emotional state, your emotional response. First of all, by watching this video, video and understanding about rebound, understand that him or her dating someone is a coping mechanism, is a strategy for them to not to deal with the breakup. It doesn't mean necessarily that they moved on and that they forgot you. What you have to do is, you know, create a new um, or new routine or habits or learn how you can maintain emotional health and stability because it's tough. You want to get back together, you know, you see that person uh, dating someone, you they seem happy and you're on your own watching my videos, figuring out what you should be doing, what you should be sending, if you should give up, if you should contact them, if you should... And it's tough. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's tough. And that's why I do my job, is to help people navigating this space and not, you know, end up on their own thinking, you know, reflecting and there's so many things going on, so many things you could do, so many things you should not do, etc, etc. And I know it's very hard. So my point is to avoid any impulsive actions and focusing on yourself. Right now, the worst thing you could do is to um, interfere with this new relationship. Because what will happen is that they will feel, again, the, up, the reverse side of all the good side. Because if you interfere in this relationship, then it's the clingy side of yourself that's coming across, right? And it's very subjective. I'm not saying you're clinky, but they will perceive it's, oh yeah, again. And we're back again to the things that made me feel like I, it's not gonna work. So it's very important for them, for you to let them get bored of this relationship 
let kids scared of this relationship realize what they've lost and looking at your own action, your own thoughts. There's always an opportunity for reconnection. And what you have to do and what, they, what they'll do is they, they'll reflect and compare. And that will happen post the honeymoon. So the honeymoon phase will last three, six months. After three to six months, your ex guarantee you, <laughs> if he's avoidant, if she's avoidant, they'll get bored. They'll get bored actually, oh, I don't want this. They'll be in the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> in the blow blow phase of the relationship. And this is when you will hear from them. Directly, indirectly, they'll find ways to reach out to you. And this is important because you have to understand that between the breakup and this time of reconnection, you have to be patient. You don't have, you shouldn't force any reconciliation because as I said, if you force, they'll pull back. If you force, you get back to the danger zone that I described in the other video, not on this one, <laughs> when you sort of, when you trigger an avoidant who will deactivate and you will sort of in return uh, pressure that person. Uh, the danger zone is something that you can find in the book attached that I would highly recommend you to, to buy. If you don't want to buy the book, if you don't want to <laughs> read the entire book, have a look in the description. There's a summary of the book. Um, and also if you're not sure whether you're gonna have any chance of getting back together, there's a quiz as well, I forgot to mention that. So now you have to prepare yourself for a possible reconciliation. So it's important now to reflect on the past relationship. What was working, what was not working for you, for them. And understand, okay, if we start again, what do I want? If we start again, will I accept the same conditions? What needs to change on my end? What needs to change on their end? Right now, the only thing you can uh, work on is the element you could change, okay? Now, it's important also at this stage when you be discussing with them, seeing them, to understand whether this rebound, whether this breakup, help them to reflect on the things they need to change. And this is why it's very important to accept that there's a timing element. You can't force someone to be ready. Now, sometimes what happens is that we feel we've grown so much that our ex is so much behind that we actually don't want them back. That happens. That happens quite a lot. And that's one of the things I could wish you for. Maybe you're watching this video thinking like, I want this person back. I want this person back at all costs. Tell me what I should do. And my answer is, okay, <laughs> reflect on what you can do. Reflect on the, the changes and put yourself in a situation for you to determine how the relationship should look like and see whether this person is able to provide, to meet your needs. Because you have needs and there's no, nothing wrong with having needs. Perhaps you have to work on uh, having sort of uh, measured needs and sort of uh, respect, you know, needs that, that are not too uh, overwhelming for your partner. And, but also, what you have to also learn is how you can establish healthy boundaries and be very strict with those boundaries. Quick recap. First of all, rebound fail. Rebound in the context of you've been together, madly in love, you had something special and that and your ex started a relationship very quickly after. Um, that will lead your ex to realize what they lost. The problem with the rebound is that there will be a delay. Okay, because instead of taking a couple of months, it might take six months. But those six months are a great opportunity for you to work on yourself. Perhaps you need to finally book a therapist, understand about your trauma, your attachment style. This is an opportunity for you to you know, work on yourself, perhaps design a life um, more in line with what you truly want. It is the time for you to use this breakup as a driver to finally design the life that you deserve. Um, and as I said, now that you've designed your life, understand how you can protect this healthy boundaries. And remember, anything you lose comes around in another form. If you have any other questions, any comments, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.